Hey guys, Megan here. So tonight I'm going to do a video of how I make my baby food and my arm is already hurting. Oh my gosh, I need like a tripod or something. Anyways, so let me, this is gonna be edited so I can, hold on, I'll be right back. I've got my produce right here. My little light, let's just turn that off. My camera stand. So I got these from Sprouts today. Uh, they are peeled and steamed already, so I'm just gonna throw them in the blender. I got beets, I got butternut squash, because butternut squash is a pain. <laughs> and then I got some sweet potatoes or yams, whatever you call them, a recipe uh, potato, uh, acorn squash, zucchini, bananas, and red bell peppers, because they were on sale. Um, I have, so I have five knives there, a six knife here, because I have six things I need to cut. I have five cutting boards because I'm just going to cut something on the counter or a paper towel. I don't know. I only have five cutting boards. Um, I've got my blender, my Ninja, with my little bitty cup thing and my pressure cooker. And then for the potatoes and the acorn squash, I'm just going to bake it in the oven. And I have it set to 400. It's still preheating. First thing I'm going to do real quick, put my hair up, wash my hands, and then I'm going to wash all the produce that needs to be washed really good. All right, everything's washed, ready to go. I'm just going to cut everything. Um, so the acorn squash, the yams, and the potato, I'm just going to cut in half and then stick it on a pan and roast it. But everything else I'm going to cut into like one inch or so cubes. This is how it should look whenever you're all done. I completely forgot I wanted to roast the potatoes and I peeled them and chopped them up, but I'll be roasting the yams and the acorn squash. I um, scooped out all the seeds and I think I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in them. I'm just gonna dry roast these cause I don't know if I can put oil on them. So I'm just not going to. Um, but the potatoes I'm gonna boil the peppers and the zucchini I'm oh and the butternut squash I'm going to cook in my pressure cooker and then these I'm just gonna blend right up these I'm just gonna smush up so yeah give me just a minute so here's the butternut squash I'm just gonna add a little bit of water I don't know how much to add what is that maybe half a cup probably less I don't know I never measure things Ugh. So I closed it, I turned it on, and then I just hit steam, and I bump it up to like 15 minutes, but if it's done sooner, it just goes off, and then make sure it is on airtight, and that's it, and you just wait for that to start. I'm going to have to put this video on hold, because... I have to go let my friend's dog out and I thought my friend's husband was gonna come over and watch well sit in the house with my son but they're gonna be late so I have to put all this all in the fridge and ah, get my son out of bed and go let a dog out all right <laughs> I'll be right back you guys I just threw the entire pressure cooker in there because ain't nobody got time for aluminum foil. And I'm back. <sighs> okay. That was crazy. So, I will just continue this video now. Like, that didn't just happen. <laughs> Alright, give me a minute. Alright, so, <laughs> I'm turning the... Oh, dang it. Dang it. I'm turning the pressure cooker back on to steam for 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Um, I'm gonna do the roasting tomorrow because it's almost 11 o'clock. But I've got these, they like sucked up all the juice. The pickled beets, oh my gosh, and look at these potatoes. They turn brown. So I'm just gonna eat those. All right, pay attention. Shake it around. Actually, I think I need to add more water. Hold on. <laughs> hey guys, this tastes oh, 
awful. Oh my gosh. Beets are so gross. I like pickled beets, but steamed beets, not so much. Now that I've got my beets in my little kind bottle thing, this is how I do it. Um, I got the kind kit because I use the kind bags, the kind twist bags in this box. And I'm gonna try to open with one hand and I did it. Um, so it was like $20. I got it as a baby shower gift. Um, so it came with a bottle, a spoon attachment, and then some spout attachments. 20 bucks. So that's what I used. But anyways, um, I'm going to write beets on the bag and then a B. I don't think I have anything else that starts with a B. A B on top so it's easier to find in the freezer. And that's it. And then I'm done. I'm going to show you how I do this. This is my beets bag. You gotta open it up a little bit. Squeeze it a little bit. I only put hardly anything in there. Like maybe an ounce. Maybe. And then you wanna let, try to get all the air out. Look how pretty it is. Such a bright red color. I love it. This is my favorite part. And so now that these are all labeled and in their bags, I toss it in the freezer. Flame on this flat and rain spots. And on some edamame. Hopefully the butternut squash is done. It seemed like as soon as it pressurized, it was done. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah! Look at that butternut squash. See, it's easy to smush with a fork. I'm gonna go clean this thing and this, and then I'll blend up the butternut squash. So now I just get rid of that fork, take a clean spoon, and scoop the butternut squash at. Try not to drop your pressure cooker. Self people. Oh my gosh. So much in there. A clean spoon. The biggest thing is to be very, very clean. Um, you don't want to cross contaminate anything because like if Killian had a beet allergy and then I just made this after the beets and I didn't wash it well and or I was using like the same spoon or something, I don't know, um, then this food would be bad as well. I couldn't give him this. I mean, I wouldn't if he had an allergy and I was not cleaning 
my stuff like I should, but I did, so we're good. Oh, so I'm going to put this in the fridge because it is really hot. It's burning my hands. Um, put this in the fridge and let it cool off for a bit, and while that is happening, um, I'm going to clean the pressure cooker, and actually, I'm done for tonight. It is 11.22. I'm done. I might do the bananas. No. I'm just going to go to bed after I do this. After I bag this. So I can just end this video now, maybe. Oh my gosh, my hair is crazy. Yeah. All right. There you have it. That is how... I don't even want to look at the dishes. <laughs> That is how you make your own baby food. I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna end up doing the dishes, but I need to sit and I need some water. I'm very dehydrated. Um, yeah, super easy. Um, you can also, like I said in my old video, you can also um, put the food in ice cube trays and it, let it freeze like that um, and then put it in freezer bags. I like the kind bags because I can just grab them, put them in the diaper bag. Super easy. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you for watching. I'm not sure how long this was, but it was probably super long. <laughs> Sorry. But all right. Bye.